walking underneath this thing. It really shows you how big it is, huh? Yeah, it does. This is where planes get sent when they reach the end of their working life. For an engineer like me, this place is amazing. Some of these planes are beautiful and they're in very good condition. They've been maintained and looked after their entire lives. The only problem is that they're not really needed anymore, but that doesn't mean there's not a lot of money that can be made from them. That's where the disassembly team comes in. All right, good morning, how's everybody doing? Good morning. Good. I'll be working alongside these guys to decommission a very special aircraft. They're tracking its final flight right now. Two-flow tower, report a five-mile final runway 18. And here it comes, a Boeing 747. Nearly 300 tons of aviation legend, affectionately known as the Queen of the Skies. That's a big plane. <laughs> wow. Once you come to a uh, stop, you can uh, hold your position and they're requesting shutdown. The engines are going to tell you from there, sir. That's the final touchdown for this 747. It flew its maiden flight in 1999. Since then, it's carried nearly 3 million passengers and racked up 14 million miles. We're towing 500,000 pounds of 747 to its final resting zone. It's unbelievable to be in here. The very first Boeing 747 took to the sky in 1969. Here it is, the largest and the fastest of all commercial airplanes. These aircraft were twice as big as previous passenger planes, earning the nickname Jumbo Jet. Their size meant more people could fly further for less, while their design offered luxury and mile-high glamour, promising a new era in jet travel. The largest, fastest, most comfortable plane in history, the Boeing 747 Superjet. Since then, over 1,500 747s have been built. The hard-working 747 fleet is now at the end of its life. One by one, these iconic planes are being retired, making way for more modern, more fuel-efficient aircraft. For this jumbo jet, it's the end of the line. But there's still a buck to be made. This plane will be dismantled and its most valuable parts sold. The rest will be melted down and recycled. So here's the plan. Over the next 10 weeks, I'm gonna help the team take this plane apart. Last one. They'll save anything of value before recycling the fuselage for aluminum and other materials. And I'll reveal the five engineering innovations that made this plane a record breaker. The revolutionary jet engines, which can be worth up to a million dollars. The 400 seat cabin, bigger and wider than any before. The vast wings that got this huge plane into the air from the shortest runway. The cockpit and avionics that guided this giant through the sky. And the massive landing gear that brought it safely back down. Will Smith is an aircraft mechanic with 10 years of experience dismantling 747s. Now, he's showing me the ropes. As you see whenever it flew in earlier, you know, it's just a huge aircraft. So it's, it's, it's always fun to watch them come in. It's, it's fun to taxi them in and get them parked. And, you know, like I said, from start to finish, it's just a fun aircraft to work on. The disassembly team's first job is to remove the most valuable components. It's four giant engines, each one weighing four tons. These are 20 years old. But even with millions of miles on the clock, they're still good for tens of thousands more flights and can even be fitted on a different aircraft. That's why they're in high demand and extremely valuable. <laughs> 